Oh, this loot is going to be so useful in the next episode. But before I go looting, we have some other things to do. Just to prepare myself. For example, getting a raid done. I just need to actually find the pillagers. Because you may notice I've still got a shield, which is, um, it's not very safe. Before going into the end again, we need to get a totem. Okay, I see a pillager outpost. But are there any of, you know, the pillagers with, like, the banner? Not these normal guys. We don't want you. Anything in the chest? No. I keep mistaking these cows for villagers. Right, there's got to be one of the good ones around here somewhere. That's the one I need to try and find and kill. I guess I can just kill you guys in the meantime. Be free, my good sir. There you go. You're welcome. Watch out, watch out. What a battle. Oh, here we are. Luckily, my good friend, you're an extremely easy mob to kill. In fact, you know what? You're going to die to my fist. There we go. And that's actually my first banner in this world. Now, if we just head back to the village and the madness begins, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's get this going. Where are the mobs at? Oh, look at these guys. They're frantically running around. Don't worry. I've got you. <gasps> Don't you dare hurt my own golem. Come here. Go, go. Easy. First round done. Eat some carrots from my lovely farm. Look at the size of this thing. Anyway, don't get distracted, Zetro. Come on. Come on. This is easy. Give me a challenge. Where are the ravengers at? Oh, I, I think I found them. Come on, Mr. Ravenger. Try and get close to me. Try and get close. I dare you. Oh, no. No, don't you dare. Get out of here. Honestly, I thought this was going to be a lot harder. Oh, and I've got slowness. Great. I've got to drink some milk. He needs some milk. Rick shot. Easy. Right, let's get the rest of this raid done. The villagers are setting off fireworks. No way. I did not know they did that. Look at these guys. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have a fair few totems now. And that is the first raid done. I'm so happy that I've finally got a totem. Now, at least if anything bad happens, ladies and gentlemen, we have a backup. Anyway, now you see this snazzy shulk right here. Yeah, there's nothing in it. But we're going to be filling that shulk up with a bunch of stuff just to get me ready for going into the end for all this time. Starting with using Jimbo to get us loads of carrots. So these can just sit over here. Now I'm also going to make some slow falling potions just to be safe in case my elytra breaks midair. At least I've got these to land the fall. Oh, that's regeneration. Please, I just need some of your membrane. That is all. That's all I want. And just just like that. They're all gone. Just pop this in here. Here we go. This is what I needed. Now let's also make it last a bit longer as well. And there we go. Perfect. Now I'm also going to quickly head to the nether so I can grab some gold from a giant gold farm. I suppose if you didn't see this, just check out the last video. There we go. We've now got the food prepared for our mission in the end. Oh, fireworks as well. Luckily, I've got a bunch in this chest already. We're definitely going to need a bunch of fireworks. And you know what? Just to finish it off, let's chuck in the regeneration from earlier. There we go. That is for all the loot I'm going to be collecting. I am fully prepared now for my first hour of this journey. Ladies and gentlemen, let the first hour of this 10 hours start now. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this first end city right at spawn is probably going to be looted, but I'm going to go for it anyway. I'm actually so excited for this challenge. It's just kicked into my mind how sick this is going to be. The amount of loot I'm going to have by the end of this. And if you're wanting to click off the video right now, at least just see how much loot I get after the first hour. I guarantee it's going to be insane. Oh, we got an elytra. I'll take that. And I'll take this stuff too. Oh yeah, I'll also take these. You know what? I'm going to grab the dragon head as well. I might not do it every time, but we'll grab a few. You can see in there. Look at this shulker already, by the way. I've got a feeling we're going to be doing a lot of trips. Yes, I managed to grab the loot. I'm out of here. Goodness me, shulkers are so annoying. That is a shulker full already. On to the next one. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of trips back to the overworld. Okay, I think that's probably all the loot from here. Oh, no, wait. We've got another culprit. Don't mind if I do. Whoa, that is a lot of diamonds. Oh, okay. This is interesting. I'm assuming this is going to be another light shot. I remember looting a bunch of end cities once, and I literally just chucked all of the loot in one of these chests. So if we find that little jackpot, that is going to be very useful. Speaking of useful, thank you very much, Mojang. Is this that special chest? It is not. We will find it eventually. Oh, that's a fair few diamonds. We'll take those. I can't wait for you guys to see what I'm going to do with all this stuff. I've got a project for the next episode. You just wait and see. It is going to be good. That's two shulkers down already. Look at that. I will take it. Okay, I think I'm just going to keep looting for the rest of the hour and see where we're at by the end.
Okay, so I've got around 20 minutes left. That means it's only been 40 minutes and I've already got all of this loot. 40 minutes out of 10 hours. Can you imagine how much I'm going to have by the end? I'm so hyped. It's going to be nuts. But I think what I'm going to do now is go and finish this last part of this first hour and then head to the overworld and see where we are at. Never know. Maybe I'll be on my way to a diamond beacon by the end of this video. We'll have to see, but I'm definitely going to do something insane with this loot. Oh my goodness, that is a god chest. Anyway, I'm going to go finish finish this first hour quickly oh oh my goodness my lights are broke okay that scared me so bad if that was like above the void or something oh my goodness my heart that was scary anyway time to head home and see what i got from my first hour i'm very excited now i would say that was definitely a successful hour of looting 12 shulkers completely full of loot so i'm just gonna sort them out into all of these chests here so i can show just how much loot i managed to get in the first hour honestly wow that's probably the best word i can use used to describe all of this loot look at that we've got all the iron tools all of the iron armor as well then we go into the diamond tools look at all them we have a bunch of random stuff here look at all the potions and the diamond armor and then you have the diamond armor the minerals all of the elytras and all of this is just from the first hour out of 10 honestly i'm so hyped for the end result anyway i've emptied out the shulkers i'm all prepared it is time for hour number two let the timer begin i want to try and get at least 10 elytras from this looting trip if i can actually do that that'll be insane but we'll see if i can't do that i'm gonna be disappointed <gasps> oh i see a ship in the distance and it's looted oh no way i left all the things in here all right well i'll grab them now maybe these are the chests that i was talking about earlier wait that might mean this pirate ship is full too come on please just be full of loot and <gasps> Yes, two elytras in here. Okay, this is what I was talking about earlier. Also, I'm gonna make a deal right now. If I don't get to the 10 elytras that I want by this hour, I'm gonna have to do a forfeit. Come on, I've gotta do this. Oh, it's not an elytra, but we'll still take it. Three pieces of diamond armor. That's pretty good. The trouble is I've got to travel out so far now to get pirate ships because I've loaded all the nearby end cities. Come on, Mojang, be generous. If I just go up here, look at that. I can literally see three pirate ships. Now, if all of these aren't looted, this is gonna be the biggest jackpot ever oh it's actually not looted okay that means surely the others aren't going to be looted either there's one elytra we'll take that come on this second pirate ship please don't be looted i'd really appreciate it <gasps> yes okay nice oh so many diamonds as well couldn't ask for a better pirate ship could you okay please don't hit me one of these little orb things i don't want to be floating midair i'd really appreciate it I said don't. Uh, no, at least it saved me a firework. Give me good loot. Give me good loot. Give me good loot. Uh, I'll take it. And time for the last ship. I think we all know the answer. Lovely. And we continue. Come on. Please don't be looted. Oh, wait. Is it looted? Hey, there we go. Please just stop. Just stop. Stop right now. Right. I'll take that. I'll take that. And I'll take that. It's going good, ladies and gentlemen. We're only halfway through the hour and it is going well. I'll take those. Come on. I still need more elytras or else i'm going to fail this challenge and that does not look like it has a pirate ship come on surprise me uh oh there is i am such a lucky boy give me that elytra right now yes it's just too easy oh we've got another double whammy i'll take that i'm actually kind of hyped but also kind of nervous to see how many elytras i've got by the end i've actually just realized i'm down to my last like five minutes this might be my last end city of this whole hour Please no. Okay, another end city looted. In fact, I think I'm going to head back to the overworld now. And now this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is what two hours of end looting looks like. And yes, I did actually manage to get over 10 elytras. I got 14 to be exact in that hour. In fact, you know what? This is two hours of loot. I got some empty chests over here. Let's get three hours of loot. All right, there we go. Back to the chests after hour three. I'm not going to lie. I really could not be bothered to sort all the chests out again. I just chucked them all here. But as you can see, quite a successful hour. Although I think I need to stop showing you guys the loot. It's going to spoil the end of the video. But anyway, three hours down, a lot of loot collected. Does anyone else just feel like really cozy when it's raining in Minecraft and you're in your house? Let's just sit and listen to this for a minute together.
Ah, nice and cozy. Also, do you remember earlier when I mentioned how it's getting harder and harder to get these items because all of the end cities near my portal are all looted, so I have to travel even further? Well, I have a plan for that. I'm just going to do one more hour to get to hour four, and then I'm going to do something a little interesting, which I'll show you about in a second. Ah, we meet again, old friend. And just like that, we're ready to go looting again. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you on the other side. Now, if I head just down here, you can see all of the loot from the past four hours. But I'm going to stop showing you because I want to leave it as a surprise until the end. But just know that four hours in, we've got a lot. But now, ladies and gentlemen, I have an interesting idea that we're going to test out. In fact, first, I'm going to need to head to the nether to get just four gas tiers. <laughs> Anyway, now that that's done, time to actually tell you the plan. So, you know how I was complaining how I'd already looted all the end cities that were nearby? It costs just one gas tier, one eye of ender, and seven glass to get an end crystal. So, if we can make four of those, I can kill the ender dragon again, get a new portal, and hopefully be in a completely new location with new unlooted end cities. So, I've clearly already got enough glass. I've got the four gas tiers right here. All I'm going to do now quickly is head over to to my end portal, head right into here, and then go right over here just to grab myself some ender pearls. Not quite that many. And back into the overworld to make some eyes of ender. But Zertro, you don't have any blaze rods. I've come prepared, okay? Pop these bad boys in here, grab some of that, put those in there, and there we go. Four end crystals. Perfect. Now the next part of the plan, to go back to the end, as we were literally just there, and kill the ender dragon. Again. That goes there, that goes there, that goes there, and that goes there. Oh my goodness. It's happening. God! Okay, it's happening! Yeah, there it is. Alright, I'm gonna take out the end crystals first. Easy. Boom. Oh, I, I missed. How do I keep missing? Oh my goodness. Easy. Oh my goodness. Okay, I did not realize I was that close. I need to stay very, very far away when shooting these. If I didn't get my totem in earlier in this video, I would have died just then. I can't believe that. Come on, just one last crystal. All right, there we go. Done. Now, to be completely honest, that scared me so badly. I'm just going to shoot this guy until he dies. And the last hit. Goodbye, Mrs. Ender Dragon. Oh, no. I need to be more careful. That scared me so bad. Wait, surely there should be a new portal? Oh, there it is. There is what we needed. But before anything, I need to go grab another totem. How have I just grabbed totems in this video and I'm already using them up? Now, at least with that Ender Dragon killed, it's time to test out this little portal method. Right, let's find me one of those end cities. Come on, fingers crossed. Oh, it's all loading in. It does seem like new generation. Okay, is it looted? It is not. Okay, the method actually worked. Oh, this is going to be amazing. I'm going to get so much loot right now. Okay, so a method I think I'm going to do. Okay, this is west. I'm only going to actually fly west, which means I won't get all confused with where I'm at. And this should be a very successful trip. Oh my, that is probably one of the biggest end cities I've seen. Okay, come on, please Please do not be looted. Is the method still working? Oh, no. It's already been looted, ladies and gentlemen. It is a sad day. You know what? Honestly, it's fine, though. If I just keep flying west, then I'm going to get a bunch of end cities that I've never looted. So, you know what? We're just... Oh, this is definitely going to be looted. Oh, wait. What? There's no shulker here, but there is an elytra. Okay, this hasn't been looted. All right, things are looking good. This is going to be a successful hour. You know what? I've actually just realized I'm spending hours and hours and hours trying to to find this loot. I've also almost died for this loot a couple of times and I'm just chucking it in these random little chests outside my house. It's not a great way to treat the loot. You know what I mean? You know what? I'm going to get this hour done to get us to the halfway point and I think it's time to make some proper storage. Okay, my elytra is literally about to break. I've just looted my final end city for the first half of these 10 hours and the timer is about to end in three two, one. Halfway through. Okay, since I recorded the last clip literally like over a week ago, I've decided something. You know what? We don't have enough cool builds in this world. I mean, it is literally what? Episode five, but I want some cool stuff. 
This carrot just isn't cutting it. So, here's the plan. I'm gonna grab this shulker. In fact, we'll grab two. I'm gonna make my way back over to the end portal. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this might seem crazy, but I want to grab every single one of these blocks and build myself this, but in the overworld. Right, now time to grab some screenshots. We'll grab one from this angle. We'll grab one here, 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 and then here. Also here, some up the top, and also some around the outside. Okay, I'm ready. In fact, I'm actually gonna start off by grabbing all this glass. Wait, can I even grab end rods? Oh, I can. Wow, they are very easy to break. Now I think I'm gonna grab all the blocks layers by layer, starting here, going all the way down to there. So now that I have all the materials for the build, it's time to actually find out where it's going to go. And I'm thinking this mountain right here would be perfect. I'm just going to need to flatten it out a little bit. Okay, I think this is all right. In fact, let me get rid of these flowers quickly. Oh, and... Uh... Okay, now all the animals are gone, I have a great way to tackle this situation. Now, here's the thing. I want it to look natural. So what I'm going to do to make sure I actually get the right shape is keep the outline where it is at the moment. And we're going to dig out all of this inside area. And then we're just going to fill it in with endstone. And there we go. Honestly, this is going to get way too confusing for my brain, I think. So I think we have just an 8 by 8 square of this per, per block just in front of this little entrance here. So this should be correct. So there's our base layer. Introducing a new block. We're going to make some pillars, I believe, on these corners. Three high. We're going to do some walls. Although I'm not actually sure where the glass is going to go yet. I'll figure it out. Is this right? This looks so weird in the overworld. And then if we just put these blocks here. By the way, why does this look like an inside of a banana? Anyone agree? No. So these can go here. All right. I think it's looking accurate. It's looking good. <laughs> hey, buddy. What are you thinking of it? Now, I'm just going to go ahead and start adding this second layer. We've still got stuff to do down here. Oh, this is so confusing. Oh, wait, I need to leave some space out here as well. I think I then also need to add some staircases going around here. This part is a little bit confusing, to be honest. I don't know how anyone does this. This is actually really hard to try and do. Several bad puns later. Oh, my goodness. Okay, this is actually looking good. Look at the little shulkers we've got down here. Okay, yes, they're not actually real. They're just normal shulkers, but still. And as you can see, I finally managed to work out this little stair pattern it literally took so long now here in the middle we have like a little ladder thing and some stairs leading up to it i want to get this exactly correct it might be a bit difficult though oh we actually have two more stairs here in fact they need to be rounded off how do i do it is it like that there we go in fact i think that's actually correct i'm quite proud of myself it seems like there's like a big tube thing here which doesn't seem too hard to build oh yeah we also have to put stairs here 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 and here now i just gotta repeat that three more times there we go i think that looks good and i've done the actual bottom layer for the next part of the build and it's actually i think the same pattern as this meaning it goes a layer of pillars all around the outside and then actually another two layers of pillars and then a layer of these blocks like i did with down there and once again just doing this pattern a few more times oh this thing is looking spicy come on what do you think in the comments is this looking good so far we're almost done in fact you know what it's time to get this thing finished look at this bad boy perfected to the t i didn't realize that's the only part i actually had to do left but look at it it is literally perfect i had someone you guys may know sandiction help me out with this but it is actually looking very very sick we've got the chest in the right place this is looking good. The only thing that isn't exactly accurate about this is the torches everywhere. Other than that, this thing is actually looking amazing. It actually looks like an exact replica of the ones that actually in the end built by the game. I'm very proud of this thing. It's so detailed. We've even got the shulkers right at the front. Oh yeah, and I've actually completely forgotten what we were actually meant to use this for. It's meant to be for storage, so I'm going to make a couple of adjustments quickly right here. We're going to grab a bunch of wood from these trees I put down earlier. I'm so glad I made these god tools. That was so fast. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just check the last video. Anyway, though, now I'm going to make a bunch of chests with that wood. Oh, I already have... 
44 over here. Okay, anyway. Anyway, though, now this is just where I'm going to keep all of the stuff. It's not going to be like a storage system or anything. Just going to be some temporary storage for our end loot, okay? Now I'm just going to transfer all of the lovely loot. Oh my goodness, look at all that. Oh, ho, ho, the loot is looking good, my friends. The loot is looking good. And this is only half of it. You wait and see. Now, I mean, it's been fun making this little build, but it has been a while since I've done some end looting, so I've got to get back to it. There's some more loot to add to the collection. You'll see more of that later on. It's getting a bit hard to loot these NCs. They're all looted, the ones nearby. I think you know what's got to be done. There we go. There's our new portal going into our number eight. Hopefully, this is going to be a lot better. Just going to stock up on some more fireworks. And don't mind me. I'm just going to head back into the end for a couple more hours to finish off the 10 hours. I'm sorry. I just really want to seal this loot. I need to get it done as quick as possible. I'll be right back. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you can officially see what 10 hours of looting end cities looks like. Honestly, this is insane. Two double chests completely full of elytras. So over 100 elytras, all of this diamond armor, which is fully enchanted. It's crazy. Of course, the saddles, the diamonds, the golden iron. And I think I know what I want to do with it. But if you want to give me some ideas as well, that would be awesome. Can you imagine just a vault full of all of this on show? Hundreds of armor stands are... Oh, it's gonna be crazy. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I cannot wait to do something with all this loot. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye.